Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol MEET. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like several days worth of time, it's actually today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I'll let you this time frame does a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price and then makes mapping out where levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. Did this analysis on Thursday, so that is where the red and green line annotations are coming from. But after today's price movement, definitely some updates here need to be done. First thing I'm gonna do is just some house cleaning. Go ahead and get rid of these lines down here. Sure, those levels still pertain, they're just not relevant right now. And from a presentation point of view, I don't wanna risk causing clutter and confusion because there's lines everywhere you look. So let's try to keep this as clean as possible going forward. The first update though that does need to be made comes about based on a foundational rule in charting which states when levels of resistance are broken and closed above, you wanna see them act as support. So going into next week, $4.15 is one of the newest areas of support and it would be the level that I would call the ideal level. And if you say, hey Clay, what would make this chart look the absolute strongest going forward? And that would be if the price can stay up above 415. Now don't get me wrong, if the price falls below 415, I'm not saying the entire chart's destroyed or ruined or anything like that. But yeah, if the price could manage to stay up above that level, that would certainly be a massive sign of power going forward. Taking a step back and looking at all of this from the bigger picture point of view, that is where the purple line here comes into play, the 50 period simple moving average, keyword being moving. As time goes by, this line here is just gonna continue to move itself higher and higher. So a very straightforward way to gauge the health of the move, that right there is how I'm defining the move. Just watch that purple line. As long as the price stays above that line, as the line itself moves higher and higher, then the bulls are in full health, the bulls are in full control. However you can best visualize that, that is what is being represented. Again, yeah, standing above 415 would be great, but from the grand scheme of it all, as long as the price is above that purple line, the bulls 100% own the chart. What about levels of resistance going forward? Well, at this point, nothing new here to report uh, from Thursday's video. Still got 435 as public enemy number one going forward, so keep a close eye on that next week. But all in all, what matters the most is that volume is remaining strong. The price is you know, slowly and methodically grinding higher and higher, and that's what you wanna see, just higher bases, higher lows, and as long as there's higher lows being put into place, then given enough time, everything else will eventually take care of itself, including breaking levels of resistance. One of the biggest questions that I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click on the image that is up on the screen right now and I will email you the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point and best part, it's completely free. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions.